Hello guys, and welcome to Matt's Pima. This video here is similar to the last video I made, but this time I get a £10,000 budget rather than a £5,000 budget. I'm still limited to a 50 mile radius to the Pacific postcode, which I chose Biggin Hill, because if I choose my um, postcode in England, half my choices would be in the sea, as I live near, as I used to live near Brighton. Okay. And also, the car must be running, it must be safe, um, even though it doesn't need to have an MOT. It needs to be over 40 years old, in other words, over 1980 plus. Oh. And yeah, let's see what I can choose. Oh yeah. So the first car I chose is quite surprising because most of the cars in this segment in this budget seem to be like MGs, Triumphs, all that kind of stuff. But this car here caught me by surprise and I think it is absolutely beautiful. It is, one second, my allergy is still here, hence why I'm probably speaking fast. My first choice is a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 6.8. Obviously it's a four door. It's a 1971 model, so it's on a K Reg. It's done 71,000 miles, it's a 6.8, automatic. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful looking car. It's a very, very dark green, from what I can see. Um, it apparently needs a little bit of tidying up. Um, I think someone's keyed it, I think. Or well, it could be a spider's rib on the bonnet, I'm not sure. Um, but basically it drives it does all the usual stuff, but needs a little bit of cosmetic work to make it look beautiful. Um, there's not actually much information on it, but if I would buy this car, though I wouldn't because I live in Moscow now, um, I would have, as I said before, with these cars, I would have to go in with an open mind. A, Vo a Rolls Royce um, is extremely expensive to repair. I heard that my friend's Rolls Royce cost him £8,000 just for the brakes. So, um, yeah, so be careful when you're buying um, these kind of big luxury barges from the past. Oh, and the price of that Rolls Royce is £8,990, which is very good. Um, it seems to have a private plate in it too. The next one I would choose is this lovely looking Mercedes-Benz 350 SL Sports. And I've always liked the SL series. Uh, my dad had um, a 2003 one, the one with the um, hardtop convertible roof. It was a beautiful car, even though it wasn't the most reliable car. This one here though, is the kind of like bluish silvery colour. Um, it looks the part. It's done quite a lot of miles, 150,000, but it is an old car, so it could be considered low. And these old Mercedes are very reliable. Um, so the car has been stored for several years inside. It was repainted and the hood was replaced a couple of years ago. Uh, although there are a couple of bubbles underneath the paintwork. Um, it's got radio, metallic paint, power assisted steering, central lock-in and alloy wheels. Um, the reason it's cheap is because it's not concourse condition. Um, so I'm having to be quick now because my battery is running out again. My third choice is just under £10,000 and this car is really cool. It's a Fiat 500 0.5 or the 500 Abad Evocation. It's such a beautiful car. It's like a whitish grey with the red stickers over it. Um, it's done 30,000 miles. It's 1972 K-Reg. Um, one second. So this Fiat 500 Abad was originally supplied to its first owner in Italy in 1972 as a standard 500 and the car found its way to the UK in December 2016 um, so basically I believe this car here is a standard 
Fit 500 that's been made into a abart using um, original proper abart um, parts um, cosmetically. Um, 10 inch wheels, well, <laughs> they're tiny. Um, it's also had upgrades to the cam covers, a thin sump, twin exhaust, loads and loads of bills to show that it's been kept up to service. It's actually a really cool car. To get a better idea, just look in the description down below. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Sometimes, to be honest, it's quite um, hard to understand these adverts just by looking at them live on the video. Well, not live, but you know what I mean. Talking to a camera while finding the cars that you chose last night when you're half asleep. My next choice, number four, is a ooh, a beautiful bright red Ford Capri 2 litre GL Fastback. And this one is 1980 on a W plate. It's done 90,000 miles. It's a 2 litre manual. Um, I really wish people would make these adverts easier to read. <laughs> um, so it's been in the garage for 10 years. Yeah, the person is very sad that he's going to sell it. I can understand that. It's stunning. Um, it's smoke-free, pet-free, full-service history, recent MOT. Next MOT is um, due this year sometime. And the, it's got a full, yeah, beautiful car. Just under £10,000. Folding rear seats, alarm and a mobiliser. That's the extras. I'm sure my friend Joseph can tell you more about these cars than me. He's um, he, my friend Joseph. Right, my friend Joseph is a person who looks for cars for people, and he knows all about the trim specs on that. Okay, the fifth choice, another car that I wouldn't necessarily want, but it fits into the um, the test basically by my friend. Um, Humber Super Nipe, three litre Imperial four door. It's done 100,000 miles, though it says it's done 100 miles. To be honest, it's not very clear on the mileage, but it says 100 miles, but I'm sure it must be 100,000 miles. Yeah, <laughs> there's not actually much information on this car, though it starts and runs and goes. Um, it's a beautiful looking car. It looks, like, it looks kind of like a little American car. Um, yeah, beautiful car. With red interior, from what I can tell. Yeah, bright red interior, dark grey. Actually, I wouldn't mind this car. Actually, I changed my mind. It looks the pe It looks the part. It looks luxurious. It's got um, wood everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and the bonus one. This one here is the car that I would buy, but it's not in the fifty mile radius. It's um, somewhere in England. One second. It's a BMW, of course, which I love. Where's it gone? Oh, this phone. Okay. So this car here is a BMW 2000 1969 model. This car has spent most of its life in sunny South Africa. So it would be in absolutely beautiful condition. No rust. Um, it was first registered in 1969, on the 1st of January. Um, it came to England in 2017. It's taxed and MOT exempt, and it has all the various South African documents. It's a four-speed manual. It's newly reconditioned Solex carb, fitted and professionally tuned. It has new blister and rear shocks, two outer track rod ends, new engine mounts, new brake shoes, times four, new clutch slave cylinder, new exhaust system. Also in this time, it's had a full respray in metallic silver, which looks beautiful in the pictures. Um, it's got the original interior, apart from new carpets, no marks or tears on the seats. It's The chrome is supposed to be in good condition. Um, a few tiny little dents on the rear bumper. All the electric, all the 
all the windows, rubbers, surrounds have been replaced too. Um, it's got two comprehensive workshop manuals and the owner's handbook. Um, apparently it's not hard to get spares for this car as he has discovered that some of them are still sold today by main dealers, which is um, true. Yeah, BMW seem to make parts for these old cars still. Um, yeah, and remember, um, on my last video I gave you a website um, which is ideal for finding your part numbers for your old cars. It was the website Real OEM. What would you choose with a £10,000 budget within 50 miles radius of your house and the car must be running and um, all going? And if you choose from eBay, it must be a buy it now choice, not one of those auctions. Oh, yeah.